Hi guys and welcome to the Arms Warrior Guide for um, Single Target and AoE. And I'll be explaining how to effectively do the most DPS as arms and yeah, pump out them numbers. So I'll first I'll be showing off the um, Single tar Target Talents and Rotation. So to start off not going into the talents or anything, the way arms works is um, you use your Colossal sma Smash to make your target... Um, be taking more damage. So main thing is keeping a uh, colossal smash on your target at all times. And mortal strike when it's on cooldown and slamming to get rid of your rage and also using mortal strikes when you've got the rage for it. And just spend all that rage. So now I'll go into the talents. That's that's basically the gist of arms warrior making sure that you keep up a colossal smash. So for talents wise for single target what you want to be taking is Dauntless. You want to be taking Dauntless due to the fact that it reduces the cost of all your spells by 10%. Their Rage, which is just really, really good all round. Especially when we go down and you see Rend, which is added in. If that's less Rage, it's really, really good for the, good, good for us. Because we need to keep Rend up on the target as well as Colossal Smash. And that's why you take Rend, because it's a really good single target. The next one's really down to you. I like taking Double Time due to the fact I can charge more. But Shockwave or Stunbolt is, is as good. I like taking Bounding Stride just for that extra movement speed as a warrior. See, and you just get a quick movement speed, which helps in fights and helps you maximize that DPS. But double time's really good because it can, you can maximize your DPS as well by just charging everywhere. Next one, uh, for single target, you want to take Titanic Might. The longer Colossal Smash is up, the better. There's RNG that you get Colossal Smash back off cooldown every time you use a Mortal Strike, but you know you don't want to rely on that RNG, so you just want to take Titanic Might. Next one, you want to take um, In For The Kill. You want to take In For The Kill because it's just... Let me just get out of combat quickly so I can change talents. It just gives you more haste, which is really, really good for Arms Warrior. And Deadly Calm isn't that good because you aren't using the effect full effectiveness of Battlecry. And especially because you aren't taking Convergence of Fates, it's not that good anymore. So In For The Kill is better. Next one, last talent, I use Opportunity Strikes over Anger Management and Ravager. Your melee abilities have up to a 60% chance based on the target's health trigger an extra attack. The extra attack doesn't deal a lot of damage, but that extra 5 rage is really, really good so we can keep up our rends. Because as you can see the build now, if I show you, so you just want to charge in. If you know that um, you get Warbreaker, which is the artifact weapon ability, you want to use that because it gives the target Colossal Smash. And then you can just start hitting the target and using your Colossal Smashes. So you want to keep rend up on the target at all times. And when your rage is low, See, try and get my rage low down. It's because I'm getting hit. I'm getting rage, but I should have less, lot, a lot less rage at the moment. But with low, um, when you're low rage, you want to be using blade storm so that when it passively goes up, you can just come out and just do really big damage with your, with your um, slams and your mortal strikes. You want to prioritizing that uh, Ren stays up on the target at all times. And when Colossal Smash comes off cooldown, if it does, just make sure you're using that instantly. So, uh, using Slam most of the time, and if uh, Mortal Strike comes up, use that. And if you get an instant Colossal Smash, you just want to be using that instantly, because it's going to hit really, really hard. But yeah, you got to make sure, if it's a weak or anything, make sure that you keep up your rend. You can use your um, Battle Cry really at, at any opportunity. So you can see now, I'll just use my Artifact Weapon. With, um, if you take the Titanic Might, you can really use your artifact weapon on cooldown, so when it's back up, you can just use it. Same with Bladestorm, you just want to be using it as soon as it's up. If you can line it up with Battlecry, that's good, but Bladestorm has a longer cooldown than Battlecry, so yeah. And one thing that's different with Fury for Arms Warrior is Execute Phase. So if I just quickly go down, push this ad down to its HP, I can see Colossal Smash is back up. Keep using Slams, Ren's about to expire, I'll reapply that. Use up my Mortal Strike and Slams. Colossal Strike come back off cooldown. Use Mortal Strike again. So now, when you execute, you get a debuff on the target. Executor's Precision. Damage from the next Mortal Strike increased by 25%. This stacks up to two times. So what you want to be doing in Execute Phase is getting up two Executioner's Precisions, then using a Mortal Strike, then Execute again. If Colossal Smash comes back off cooldown, use that, because obviously it's going to give you, it's going to keep up the Colossal Smash. So you just want to keep using Execute till Mortal Strikes back up. Keep using Executes till Mortal Strikes back up. And yeah, you can see big, big damage from, from um, Arms Warriors. 
in the last phase. If you have to blade storm, do it just to gain a bit more rage. But that is it for single target. It's pretty simple. You just got to remember that re rend is going to be added in. And a lot of people forget to um, reapply that because they don't play with it all the time. So for AoE, what you want to be taking is sweeping strikes. As you can see, more strike and execute hit additional two, two additional targets, which is obviously just really, really good. Next, I'll take Shockwave due to the fact AoE stun. Really good in Mythic Pluses just to keep everything down. Next one's really down to you. But I like using Trauma due to the fact it just bleeds loads of the targets. And especially because I'm using Whirlwinds a lot, it's just going to give me big damage. And a lot of the time, Avatar, you don't get the full use out of it. And you'll get more damage out of Trauma because you're using Whirlwind so much. Next one's down to you again, Bounding Stride on, or um, whatever. Next one, what I take is... Um, Feather for battle due to the fact that I'm going to be do using whirlwinds a lot and you know whirlwind deals 80% increased damage to your primary target you're just going to be doing big big damage next one you want to take deadly calm due to the fact that when you pop it you're going to kind of be playing like fury you're going to pop all your CDs in that deadly calm window next what you want to take is ravager of course because you know it's going to do huge huge damage um, and it's going to give you a lot of rage which you can spend on whirlwinds so when you start off and engage, you want to be charging in, putting down your Ravager instantly with Battle Cry, and just one thing that is just the main the main bit about um, Arms Warrior AOE is its artifact ability. If I quickly get it up, so let me just quickly get it up. So when Cleave strikes at least uh, two or more targets, it releases Shadow Damage 100k to all of them. This is okay, but one of the other things is. Cleave increases damage dealt by your next whirlwind by an additional 8% per target hit. And there's not a cap on this. So if you're in communications with your tank, you can literally just tell him, pull everything. And then hit hit the cleave and then use a whirlwind. So what you want to be prioritizing is using mortal strike as much as possible so that you, um, you're using your sweeping strikes up. And when you can, use cleave and whirlwind. And just keep using that, cleave and whirlwind. And when you can, mortal strike, if that's on CD, cleave whirlwind. And just keep doing this over and over and you'll see your DPS rock up. And as you can see, you know, um, Ravager's back up and you can just use really, really big rage. Really put big rage down. And obviously when you get into Execute phase, it's going to do even more damage because Mortal Strike and Execute are going to be hitting two additional targets. So that's it for Arms Warrior, uh, single target and AoE rotation. To maximize your DPS as Arms Warrior, you literally just want to be charging and you know just go into go into ads quickly you have a leap and you have a charge which gives you rage every time you use them so make sure you're using them to the full potential so if that's um leaping out and then charging back in for that extra 20 weight rage it's really really good so yeah comment if you want to see anything different and see you in the next one